Hi all. I'm here again with the chess video and um, it has been some time since uh, I made the last one. The um, reason for that is that the last months I've been more concentrated on um, analyzing my own games and, and doing exercises to, to improve my own uh, playing strength and uh, making chess videos has not had um, priority but of course I want to continue this and um, this is a very short game that I want to show you now it's uh, a game that I played yesterday um, at the club and it's only 20 moves I was playing black and my opponent opened with the e4 and two weeks ago I played the Sicilian Dragon and it was a failure actually the, the game ended in a draw but the opening was was uh, actually completely wrong. I, I lost the pawn. I didn't have any compensation, and uh, fortunately, in the ending, a rook ending, I uh, I could make a make a draw. So now I didn't want to play Sicilian. So I went back to my old system, the pair defense, d6. Now d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, defending the e4 pawn, g6 to Fianchetto the bishop on g7, <coughs> bishop to g5, bishop g7, and now queen to d2. So this system that white is um, using is the idea is to exchange later this dark squared bishop, castle queen side, and start an attack here on the king side. So the one of the, the the best things for black to do here is to delay cancelling because if black cancels now then white has a point a direction to attack and if you simply delay the the cancelling then white uh, doesn't make any sense for white to start an attack if the king is not here on the king side so that's why here c6 is a good move white cancels queen side and I started pushing my pawns on the queen side b5 he played f3 gaining control over the square g4 and preparing eventually g4 later and I played queen to a5 now here ideas arise like uh, playing b4 and queen takes a2 and also moving the bishop to e6 attacking also this a2 square. King b1 was played and now I played b4 the knight went to e2 and then I went to e6 with the bishop. The pawn on a2 is attacked and white decided to defend it by playing knight to c1. So this looks it like the position of the white king is, is very safe now. These, these pawns are uh, defended um, so the question for me was now what plan can I make to continue putting pressure on the on the white king and I thought about options like playing my knight to a6 later to c7 and then to b5 that was one idea another idea was to play the knight to d7 and then to b6 and later to c4 so it was not, e not easy to to find what was the best way. I decided actually to wait with this uh, knight development and first to push the pawn from c six to c five. He played d five, closing this diagonal, but on the other hand, opening this diagonal for my bishop. Now my bishop on e6 is attacked, so I went to d7. The idea was to exchange this light square bishop for his light square bishop, and then after that I would have better control uh, over this uh, c4 square, so I could go with my knight to d7, b6, controlling c4, maybe even pushing this uh, c4 pawn, c, uh, my c5 pawn to c4 and my opponent here actually helped me by playing bishop c4 himself and I was 
my plan was to play bishop b5 anyway, so I played bishop b5 and he exchanged it. And actually, I, I won a tempo with this because he moved this bishop, did an extra move with it. And here, white actually realized that he doesn't have much attack yet, so he tried to uh, force um, opening the center. Since my king is in the center, it's a good idea to open the center, so he sacrificed the pawn, but this sacrifice is actually not, not correct. He played e5, and I took my time to think. I thought for a long time, calculated the different uh, continuations, and decided that I could simply take this sacrifice. He played d6 then, I took on d6, he took with queen, and now the knight b to d7 defends both pawns on e5 and c5. So my conclusion was here that his um, pawn sacrifice was not correct because he doesn't have much compensation, his, his pieces are not, uh, not well developed yet. So now the question was what, how would uh, he continue? And a very logical idea is to try to use this, uh, these pieces from the background to bring them to the um, to the front to to put pressure on the king side on the on my king. And one idea would be to use this knight. And actually, my opponent did that, but in the wrong way. He used the wrong square. He made a blunder here. He played knight to d3. And if you want to have a look why this is a blunder, pause the video and uh, look for a continuation for black. The thing is that white blocks the exit for the white queen by playing the knight to d3. So now I played bishop to f8, attacking this queen on d6. And if the queen goes to c to c7, then knight d5 follows, and the queen is trapped cannot go anywhere. So, realizing this, my opponent decided to uh, give this queen for a, for a piece. And actually he could have, re could have resigned here, but many times when we make a very big mistake sudden, then there is a psychological thing that we, want, you don't, we don't want to, to resign immediately, but continue a few moves, and after a few moves we um, can accept that uh, it's all over. And my last move was queen to f1 here. And he resigned, because after bishop to c1, then uh, knight takes e5 and, and it's all completely over. Okay, I um, hope you like this, this video about the big defense, and um, i see you next time on YouTube. Bye-bye, thank you.